What's going on? This is Ryan with Automatic Comics, and up next, I've got another huge, about $11,000 comic unboxing. Stay tuned. All right, before we get started, please remember to hit that like button and hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more content like this. Really appreciate it. Helps out the channel. Now, I've got another pretty great unboxing this week. I don't normally buy this many comics week after week, but I've sold uh, quite a few kind of like bigger books recently, so I end up buying books really quick after that. I, <laughs> I don't tend to hold on to the, the money for very long. I, I like to go out and buy new books right away. So I've got books all the way from some, some pretty awesome Golden Age books up to some moderns. So there's a, there's a little bit of everything in here. So let's get into this. All right, so we got a bunch of packing peanuts, so I'm gonna try to be a little careful getting this out. All right, so we got another one of those box inside of a box situations, so it'll be another minute longer. All right, so we've got two uh, kind of like bundles of books. So I will cut into this first one and we'll see what we've got. All right, so the first book here is actually uh, the, the modern book, and this is X-Men number four. And this is the first Omega Red, you know, kind of the, <laughs> the character that everybody thought was gonna show up in Falcon and the Winter Soldier and then never did. So the book really spiked, but it hasn't cooled off all that much. So there's still a fair amount of value to this one. And the big thing with this book is that it's the, the newsstand. And this is 1992. So newsstands are much less common, uh, much less likely to see them, especially since these books were printed an absolute ton. So uh, having the newsstand is a nice little uh, difference with the book, something that's uh, that makes it a little bit more unique than the, uh, the direct copies that are out there. All right, now the next one, this is a cool book. This is Startling Terror Tales number 10. And this is, you can see up here, is an LB Cole cover. And if you've looked at enough Golden Age pre-code horror type books, you really start to be able to pick out LB Cole covers. I mean, they, they almost always have this similar kind of like bright contrasting colors look to them. They, they are all very similar and you can almost kind of like pick them out of a crowd. And they've gotten a lot more popular lately, so I, I'd like to pick them up. I've talked about this in some of my market videos that the, the pre-code horror books are really starting to, to kind of really explode in prices. A lot of demand for them, especially LB Cole. And uh, you can see this is one of these weird things as well with Golden Age books. There's this little note up in the, uh, the corner here, or here, it says this is the, the first issue. And you can see, however, it's issue number 10. And so that's one of these things that's always real strange with the Golden Age. They, they don't really do any standardized numbering. A lot of times they'll start later. It's either the title changed partway through or they just started at a later number as kind of a, a marketing gimmick. Um, I, I've made, I think I've talked about that in the past where I thought that was something really interesting. I learned that they would think that, oh, if it's issue number one, people might not want to take a chance on it. But if it's issue number 10, it's already out there. It's had multiple successful issues that people have bought. So people will jump right into it. I mean, it's, it's interesting. It's a unique, uh, unique approach to, to selling books. Now here's another one that I showed in my last unboxing and I got another one for a good price and I will buy these all day right now if, if, they, if the prices are, are coming down. And this is Shazam number one. And you can see up here, this is the first appearance of Captain Marvel or Shazam outside of the Golden Age. And so he hadn't come back uh, for quite a while because this is 1973. So it's not even like a Silver Age first appearance, it's technically kind of like a Bronze Age first appearance. But with all the popularity of the, the new Shazam movies and Black Adam and everything, I will 
I will buy these books if they're, you know, kind of sold at a, at a discount to recent prices because I just I see those prices going right back there the instant we get more information on the movie, trailers, that kind of thing. All right, now the last book in this little bundle, then there's a there's another bundle of books, is, all right, now I had shown that Sunny number 11 in my my last unboxing video, kind of like the Golden Age, Good Girl Art type cover, one I've been looking for for a while. This is another one, and this is another Al Feldstein cover, and this is Junior, number 15, and he, he drew his, his uh, characters very similarly. This is actually the same characters from that, that Sunny book, the, the Junior characters are the same ones from that run. And this is just another one of these Good Girl Art type covers from the 40s, and has kind of, again, that Archie type feel, and there are, are a number of books in this run as well, in this junior run, that have a very similar kind of like look and feel to them. And so uh, definitely a book that is tough to get, was surprised when I saw it come up for sale, and was glad to be able to, to pick that one up as well, to go with that Sunny number 11. All right, now I'm gonna get into this next set of books. All right, I'm gonna save uh, this one to the end, because that's a, a pretty big one <laughs> all right this is actually this might be the book it's gonna be it's arguable for me because the other one is a much more expensive book but this is a awesome book very excited to get this this is Batman number 52 and this is just this incredible Joker cover 1949 he's got this you know this Joker hot rod and <laughs> I, was, I was talking with someone about that where I'm just like, where does the Joker get all these, like, Joker mobiles? Like, he must have just, like, a, a high-end shop or something that he, he's got guys working in or that he's he's kidnapped or something and has making this stuff for him because uh, this is just another one of these these great covers from kind of like the in the 40s through the 60s. There's a bunch of really, really great Batman books, and, and this is one of them. And anytime you can get Joker covers from that time period, I'm, I'm going to do it. All right, now, this is, the, this is the book that I talked about in my market video. So this is Avengers number 16. And this is the uh, first kind of like, I'll call it appearance of the new Avengers. So it's Scarlet Witch, Hawkeye, and, and Quicksilver when they join. And this is an 8-0 white pages copy. And just, a, I mean, a really, really nice looking copy of this book. And so uh, very happy to to get this one. I've only had this book one other time and it was a it was a lower grade. This one looks looks really nice. I'm definitely gonna take a closer look at it because I mean it just it looks really really clean and it doesn't doesn't really look like it's been pressed. So let's see if I can get it to show up. You can see uh, there we go. How you can see those that bend there right by where that light is. I mean, that's usually a sign that it hasn't really been pressed or it hasn't been pressed well. And so it's some, there are, I mean, there are definitely spine ticks, but I just, I wonder if it could, if it could press higher than an, than an eight, because there's no staining that I can really see jumping out on the back. The back cover is similar. Let's see here. You can see, uh, it's got, it's hard to see in this, uh, in this light, but there are some spine ticks along the back that look like they could be improved with a press. So. I'll have to take a look at it. I'll have to look at what the, the prices really are for maybe an 8.5. Uh, I don't know if it could get up to a 9, but an 8.5 or a 9, just to see if it's one of those things that's worthwhile or not to have it pressed. All right, now this one is just a cool Golden Age book. Uh, this is All-Star Comics, number 36. It's a low grade, but it's 1947. It actually looks really nice. I mean, it's a 2.5, but it's got a complete looking cover. You know, it's a, it's a cover detached, so usually with a detached cover, the highest you're ever going to get is a 4.0. Uh, and so this is at a 2.5. It's got, obviously, some other types of damage to it. A little, you know, piece out of the bottom down here. And this is some, some tape over here on, on, the, uh, on the cover. But in general, it presents really well. Decent colors and everything. So. Just a, a book where you've actually got Batman and Robin guest starring in this one so they, they weren't always in this group it was more often that you'd have you know like Green Lantern and the Flash and Hawkman that kind of thing so having Batman and Robin there is a little bit bigger of a deal all right now I've got the biggest book that was in this box 
And it's actually an upgrade to uh, one of the books back here on this shelf. And this is Hulk 181. Still a green label, <laughs> but it's an upgrade to my, my 7.0 uh, green label up there. Uh, this one is a white pages copy though. Uh, my other one is, is not, it was an off-white to white pages. So a little bit upgrade there, a little bit cleaner copy. The spine isn't quite as, as nice on, on the wrap. You know, you've got this, this more of a miswrap over here, um, but, but still, you know, Hulk 181 is uh, always a, a great book to get. And you know, it, it presents really well. It's got the uh, kind of like this, this deeper reddish orange background, which is one of the things I, I really like with uh, with this book because it's you can definitely get that variety in the, the printing with with all, with all different books But this one as well where you get kind of more of an orange background versus a reddish orange background and, and I really like the the deeper red now This one is missing Marvel value stamp just like my other one But like I've mentioned previously I've been seeing the prices drop a little bit and some of these really big keys that had moved up a lot and I'm gonna take advantage of that when I see it and and I felt like the the price had had come down some on this one I felt like it was a good time to purchase that book and uh, so I'm upgrading my, my 7.0 with an 8.0. Now, I know some people say, well, why don't you try to get like a blue label? Well, a blue label, you're gonna spend around eight grand, <laughs> you know, maybe more. And so sometimes you, you make those types of trade-offs when you're, when you're trying to get these books. And presentation-wise, like I said, it still you know, presents really well. It's really clean, you know, no big creases or anything like that. There's a little, little uh, kind of like bend down in this corner. And there's a little bit of spine wear, but in general, you know, it looks like a pretty solid 8.0. It's a nice looking copy. So uh, very happy to upgrade that book, have another copy of, of Hulk 181s. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more content like this. I've got other videos over here that you can click on and you can hit the subscription button right down here. And I will see you in the next video.